Hey guys, Janice Vaughn, letting your light shine. Thank you guys all so much for all your likes, comments, subscribes, shares, private messages, emails. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. All right, so this is what I'm going to talk to you guys about tonight. Why it is so incredibly important to go no contact with a narcissist. Oh, I cannot stress this enough. So for those of you that have been watching my journey from the beginning, you guys know that I have kicked the narcissist out of my life probably hmm, 12, 16 times, somewhere between those two, okay? Every single time that I kicked him out, he gaslit, he manipulated, he love bombed, he charmed me back again into feeling guilty for putting him out on the street because he had nowhere to go, all right? I don't want somebody to feel like they have nowhere to go. So of course that weighed very heavily on my heart and he knew exactly what buttons to push to make me feel guilty, okay? So when I finally, finally got rid of him last year, March 7th, annual Freedom Day that's coming up, so excited. Um, I did, I went no contact and um, you guys, that's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it because if you don't do that, what's gonna happen is the narcissist is going to find any way they can to get back into your life, okay? Um, examples of kind of what happened for me was he was notorious for sending me these sweet little love songs, okay? I'm a sucker for love songs. I'm a romantic person. Of course, I'm gonna fall for them. But he knew that getting those songs to me would just crush my heart and go, oh my gosh, wow. Oh, maybe he is a good person. Maybe, maybe he's not the person I thought he was. You cannot fall for their crap because it is total bullshit and they will do whatever they have to say to make good graces with you and get back into your life. So that is part of the reason why people who are in narcissistic abuse, abusive relationships continuously go through this cycle because we fall for their crap again and again and again, and they're good at it. That is why they are narcissist, okay? I, I don't think I could be good at manipulating anybody because I would feel too guilty about doing that, so therefore I don't manipulate people. But a narcissist, that is their game, that is their ammunition, that is their go-to plan, no matter who you are. Whether it's in a relationship, whether it's somebody that um, they work with, whether it's somebody that's a family member, I'm telling you, no contact is so crucial in order for you to heal. I, 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 I just cannot stress that enough. Um, I, I always gave this man chance after chance after chance. And like I said in one of my videos, um, probably in the last, um, I don't know, somewhere in the 60s episodes, that he always, always, always love bombed me so greatly that it turned my mind in such a way that I felt like I was guilty for kicking him out. And I'm like, how is that even possible? But the mind games that these people play with us are so sick and so strategically planned out that it makes us question the true reality of who we are and what we're dealing with. So when I filed for the order of protection, excuse me, Alexa, turn it down one, please. Anyway, when I filed for the order of protection, I had allowed him to have email contact with me only, okay? Oh my gosh, even that was too much, okay? He couldn't call me, he couldn't text me, okay? but he could email me. And I'm telling you guys, I have a stack like this of emails and they're right there that I will get to in the next few days um, that he emailed me incessantly during the, the time that we had the order of protection cert 
until the time that he requested the hearing. All right, so from March 7th through March 23rd. So that was what, almost two weeks, a little, little less than. Anyway, if you do not go no contact, these people will find a way to get back into your life. They will say whatever they have to say and do whatever they have to do to make you believe that you're at fault and that you did them wrong. I'm telling you, I did this 12 to 15 or 16 times in six years. I never, ever in past relationships had to kick somebody out of my life or my home 12 to 16 times. Like, that's just psycho. That is just craziness to even think about. I mean, most people will, you're going to tell somebody, hey, you know what? This relationship isn't working out. Uh, I don't think we're a good fit for each other. I think that we need to go our separate ways. And normal, healthy people pack up their stuff and go, you know, you're right. Sorry, it didn't work out. I wish you well. There you go. You never hear from them again, or maybe you do. Maybe you run into them at a restaurant or the grocery store, but with the narcissist, no. It is such a mind trip, um, and it's a game that is so powerful on their part that if you don't cut them off, they will find a way to weasel back in. I'm telling you. I tried to be so strong in the past, and I tried to, um, you know, cut him off and I'm not going to answer his text messages and I'm not going to answer his phone calls and all that. But you know what? It was always that one text message that came through. It said, you know what? I screwed up. You're the most wonderful woman on the planet. And I don't know what I would do without you. You've taught me so much. You know, God sent you to me. I mean, everything that he knew about me. I mean, he, he used my faith again in that area because he, He tried to manipulate me into thinking that God sent him to me again. And I'm sitting here going, what is this man doing? Like, it's crazy. So it wasn't until I went no contact and um, I've had no contact for almost a year. That's when I started healing. Okay, that's where I found my true self again. That is where I found um, that my soul was not tarnished. It was injured, um, but it wasn't lost. It wasn't destroyed. I found Janice again. I found me again. I did. And I couldn't do it unless I went no contact. And every single video that I watched prior to my leaving was about no contact. You've got to cut these people out of your life. You've got to walk out that door. You've got to walk down your path. You cannot look back. You guys, I cannot, I cannot tell you enough how true that is. Please take it from me. I am walking this truth. Had I not went no contact, I don't know where I'd be. Um, I don't know if he would have manipulated his way back in probably. I'm a soft heart. I, I'm a very forgiving person. And he knew that and he prayed upon that. Um, but I now know that going no contact and just taking time to heal for me got me the strength that I needed to realize who I was again. And my true self I found my self image. I found my self worth again. I found out that he was nothing but just somebody who just wanted to play with my mind. Um, It was like chess. I I don't know how to play chess, but it's it's a chess game, okay? Because um, they want to be smarter than you. They want to try and you know get you into their belief system of who they are and that they're doing everything correct and that you're doing everything wrong. Please, please take it from me. 
if you are serious about leaving the narcissist, whether it's um, family, whether it's your job, whether it's your boss, your your significant other, your spouse, your wife, husband, whatever, um, if you do not go no contact, the cycle will continue. When you go no contact, you slam that door in their face. You do. You say, no more. You're not walking through this door that I'm shutting because that door that I'm shutting, leaving you behind, is a door to my peace, serenity, happiness, joy, and my new life. And here I am a year later and I've never been happier, okay? So please, 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 you guys, I, oh my gosh, I pray for each and every one of you. Please go no contact. If you don't, you're going to just end up in the same circle of craziness. And you are worth so much more than that, okay? You are. We all are. All right? You've got this. You're stronger than you think, okay? I love you all. Love and light to each and every one of you. Thank you guys. Mwah.